हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज़ द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स इन दिस सेशन यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अनदर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज लिंक्ड लिस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ लिंक्ड लिस्ट एंड ऑपरेशन ऑन लिंक्ड लिस्ट लिंक्ड लिस्ट इज अ लीनियर कलेक्शन ऑफ डेटा एलिमेंट्स कॉल्ड नोट्स एंड लीनियर ऑर्डर इज गिवन बाई मीन्स ऑफ पॉइंटर्स See here in linked linked list is also a collection of elements, but here each element is called as a node. See this diagram. This is one node of a linked list, and each node again is having two parts. One is data part, and another is link part. That is link part contains the address of a next node here why because in the linked list each element is not stored in a contiguous memory location wherever the memory is free the nodes will be stored there and linear order is maintained by providing links to the next node see this diagram this is how a linked list can be represented start contains the address of first node it is also called as a head node the link part of last node is marked as null this marks the end of the linked list and this is the linked list which contains the integers next is types of linked list there are three types singly linked list doubly linked list and circular linked list singly linked list it's a normal linked list where each node contains the address of a next node and each node is having data part as well as an address part doubly linked list each node contains three fields that is address to the next node address to the previous node and data part see the diagram here first node is 10 address of the first node will be containing in start or head node second node is 20 it is having the address of this its next node as well as the address of its previous node and so on up to end of the list in a circular linked list last node always contains the address of the first node and a new element can be inserted only if previous nodes are free some of the operations that can be performed on a linked list are creating a linked list traversing a linked list inserting an element into a linked list deletion of an element from a linked list searching an item in the linked list merging two or more linked list you will be learning up to deletion of an element from a linked list as searching and merging are not included in your syllabus first operation is creating a linked list see as i said linked list is a collection of elements each element is called as a node here again node contains two parts that is data part and address to the next node so we can't use array data structure here that that is why structures are used to create a linked list so how to do that see here struct node int data node star link data is of a type in integer and link is of type pointer star represents a pointer here which holds the address of next node star node 1 comma star node 2 node 1 node 2 represents the separate nodes here so the representation of one node in a linked list can be done using structure then what about the memory allocation of a linked list as linked list is a dy dynamic data structure memory is allocated for it using a new operator that is during a run time see here t is equal to new node it is a new node data of p data of part of p is filled with number link of p will be null it represents one complete node here next we will see how to traverse a linked list traversing is nothing but visiting each node at once and performing some operation on that node see the algorithm 
P is equal to start. P is a temporary pointer which points to the head node or start node first. While P not equal to null, that is end condition is up to end of the linked list, we have to visit each node. And while visiting, some process is applied on data part of the P here. And P is equal to link of P. It is to traverse from one node to another node. Link of P contains address to the next node so it will move to next node here the process repeats up to end of the linked list see the example here at first p will be pointing to start node and while p not equals to null that is up to end of the linked list one by one nodes will be visited it will move to next first node here it will access the data and p is equal to link of p this link part contains address to next node and then it will be moved forward the process continues up to end of the list that is all the nodes are visited so after knowing the creation of a node in a linked list and traversing the linked list we will see how to insert a node in a linked list there are three types of insertion inserting a at the beginning of linked list inserting at the end of the linked list and inserting at the given position inserting a node at the beginning of a linked list the new node which we are going to insert will be at the very inserted at the very beginning of the linked list here how to do that see the algorithm let me explain this by taking one example here il nodri linked list olaga more elements ava 5 10 15 15 is the last node why because its link part is null cross mark indicates null here so first en madbeku now new node create madbeku algorithm nodri ile p is equal to new node so first ige enagtade ile p annuvanta pointer new node ige point martan so new node create mad takshana en madbeku ille data part anna fill madbeku so 20 fill madade ille link part anna en madbeku start dolag en address adala adanna ee node du link point ge copy madbeku yaka start adroga start head eradu vanda ille start node olage en agirthade ee node du address irthade so to make this new node as the first node now en madbeku ille Either the link and start a wider number in sick to the lay in order the address sick to them. So next another start is equal to P. So either the address in other la memory address to start or the hack back in. So E in after the do 20 in other la first node together 5 will be the second node rest part in other la as it is written. So next is inserting a node at the end of the linked list new node will be inserted at the very end of the linked list that is it will be the last node of the linked list here see the algorithm example node refers to head in the first node point so inserting at the end of the linked list first end mode back now we have to traverse the linked list until we reach the last node before insertion nidu so in a way p is equal to start again P will be pointing to start node or head node here while P not equals to null and the end of the link list barutan in madabakile P is equal to next of P P is equal to next of P and the first ig ill barthada and next of P and the ill barthada this indicates the end of the link link list here once we reach end of the link list what we have to do here again same procedure create a new node n is equal to new node this is what the new node here data of n is equal to item item in hake dile 80 link of n null madabakale next link of P last previous step polaga pl bandirthada last node of the link list polaga so idu null en irthada idirdu link ige en madbeku navu ille idakka point madbeku illu so link of p is equal to n link of adiki munche en madbeku link of n en madbeku navu null madbeku why because this is our last node of the linked list inserting node at a given position that is we want to insert a node either at the beginning of the linked list or end of the linked list or somewhere in the middle. So, algorithm node relay first in Madhavak now 
ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟದಾವು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟರ್ ಟು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನೋಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ನೋಡ್ ವೈಲ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ನಲ್ ಟ್ರಾವರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಇದು ಟ್ರಾವರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ದಿ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಫ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ದಿ ನೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಗೋರಿಸಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಗ ಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟವ ತ್ರೀ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಅವ ತ್ರೀ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಕೌಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ನು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡು ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇತ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಗೋರಿದಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ಕಿಂತ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೇನು ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಈಗ ಸಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಐ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಐ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕಲ್ಲೇ ಟ್ರಾವರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮಟ್ಟ ಟ್ರಾವರ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದಲ್ಲಿ ಐ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಪಿ ಒನ್ನು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನೋಡಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ನಿಲ್ತದ ಸೊ ಆವಾಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಪಾರ್ಟು ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಲ್ಲಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಐಟಮ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಲಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಏನಾಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಏನಿರ್ತದೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡೋದು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಅದರದ್ದು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಟು ಪಿ ಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದಿಲ್ಲ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಈ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಪಿ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪಿ ಟು ದ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಕಾಪಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟೆಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ನೋಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಏನದ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇನ್ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೇನು ಇನ್ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗು ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಂಡು ಅಲ್ಲ ಮಿಡಲ್ಲು ಅಲ್ಲ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ನು ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೌಂಟ್ ಇತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ವ್ಯಾಲಿಡ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಲೀಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಡಿಲೀಷನ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಡಿಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಅ ಗಿವನ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಡಿಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಅ ನೋಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ನೋಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿಲೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಗೋರಿದಮ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಪಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್
it will stop to last but one node p2 will be pointing to last node after the end of the loop so again madabakile data of p2 print aagbeku link of p1 na now null madbeku why because last node delete madinda p1 in aagtada last node aagtada so other the link null madbeku and the next step is free of p2 here not p1 p2 is freed here there is a printing mistake in algorithm p2 should be freed p1 will be last node deleting from the required position that is either it may be in beginning or at the end or from a middle position that is somewhere in the middle of the linked list so starting steps in order really same over that is we have to keep track of number of elements in a daily p1 is equal to start initially count will be zero p1 is equal to start while p1 not equals to null count is equal to count plus one p1 is equal to link of p1 this process will be followed until end of the link list so avag nam again sick the delay number of elements or nodes present in the linked list so next in mode back now we we have to check the position if position is equal to one then it indicates that first node to be deleted so make use of delete beginning algorithm else if position is equal to count that indicates we are deleting the last node that is we are deleting the 20 element here 20 is the last node we are deleting that so make use of delete end algorithm or else if position is less than count that is somewhere in the middle here suppose i am deleting position 3 that is i am deleting the third element of linked list here so again we need two pointers p2 is equal to start for i is equal to 1 2 position p2 elik one stop akta the ya position the element delete mada tv al stop akta the so p1 in martha delay second element in stop akta the p1 is equal to p2 p2 is equal to link of p2 so after the end of the for loop p2 will be at third position p1 will be at second position so next in mada vakna will delete mada vakna will be p2 node so print the data of that node here and next link of p1 equals to link of p2 link of p2 again the 20 node the address other so link of p2 the contents in akba kile link of p1 no copy akba kile next in akba kile p2 should be freed so now in mada vakna will be p1 na last node ke point mada vakna so this is the process of deleting required element from a required position now we will see the last concept of this chapter that is non-linear data structures elements of non-linear data structures are not stored in a sequence examples are trees and graphs so what is tree a tree is a data structure consisting of nodes organized in a hierarchy. See the example here. This is a tree. So in further definitions, we will use this diagram as our example. So first one is a parent node. A node that has a child is called a parent node. See the example here. A, node A, B, C, and E are parent nodes as they are all having child nodes. Child node. It is the immediate successor of a node. See here. For example, B, C, D, F, E, G and H are, are all the child nodes in a tree. Root node. It is a node which does not have any parent node. In this example, A is the root node. Siblings. Group of nodes that have same parent are called as siblings. So, from figure 1, B and C are siblings as well as D, E and F are also siblings since their parent is only B. Path. It is the number of edges from source node to destination node 
for example path from b to h is 2 that is b to e is one edge and e to h is another edge subtree of a tree t is a tree consisting of a node in t and all its descendants in t see for example b d e f h form a subtree c and g also form another subtree height of a node is the number of edges of the largest downward path between that node to a leaf See here for example if we want to find the height of node b there are three ways to reach a leaf here b to d b to h and b to f out of these three largest path is from a b to h that is b to e is one edge and e to h is one edge so height of a b is is a 2 here depth of a node path between a node and its root is called as depth of a node so depth of h is 3 why because a to b is one edge b to e and e to h so number of edges we have to count here internal node nodes that have a child node is called as internal node for example, in this diagram, A, B, C and E are internal nodes as they are all having a child nodes. External nodes, nodes that do not have any child nodes. For example, D, H, F and G are child nodes here or external nodes or leaf nodes. Binary tree is a tree where all nodes are having at least two children. The tree given in this example is not a binary tree. Why? Because the node B is having three children. The condition is it must have two or a minimum of one child node. Complete binary tree. It is a tree where all the leaf nodes are at the same level. See the example here. D, H, F and G are leaf nodes here. But here all the nodes are not at the same level here. So it is not a complete binary tree. Next is graphs. A graph is a collection of nodes called vertices and the connections between them are called edges. You can see one example graph in the figure here. Types of graph are directed and undirected. Directed graph is a graph in which all the edges have a direction. Undirected graph all the edges will not have any direction. In this example it is a undirected graph since the edges are not having any direction. With this, the chapter data structures is completed. Go through all the videos and if you are having any doubts, feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you.